happen. So I was stopped over here and there was a car that was trying to come out on 4th so I was just waiting to not block the street. Okay. And we were just hit from behind. So you were completely stopped? We were completely stopped. Okay. Um, a witness pulled over first. I pulled over here because there was no place on the street to pull over so I pulled into here and a, another person came in behind me but the truck kept going. Okay. And I was like, no! So I went to stop her, but then she just pulled around. So she came into this parking lot. She didn't want a ticket, so she didn't stay. So the, the car that hit you is right over here? It was. She's gone now. She gave me her name and her number and said she thinks she has progressive. Hi. It's right there. She's got damage that matches that. Okay. The so big it's truck. a big su Super Duty with like the personalized license plate. I took a picture of it. I just took a picture of it too. Bear photos. George 47, take on and service? Yes. George 47, take I'm not truck. super worried until this is her car and her license plate. She's from Texas. She said she's. That one? Yep, that's what it looks like. George 61. She said she's here for the rodeo. Oh, yeah, it's this one with the Texas plate. Oh, weird. Okay. I'm not super worried. I just thought I was supposed to call the police, so I did. So she pulled into here. Yeah. She gave you her, her, her name, phone number. And all that, but Doug, if she didn't, but she didn't have her insurance information. She didn't want to go through insurance. She said she wanted to pay cash. Okay. And I said it's been a long time since I've been in an accident, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to. It right. It ends up really fast. Okay. Yeah, there's barely, I mean, barely any damage these days. Cost her without. Yeah. I know. One's your way. Kick on registration. And there's, I have two kids in the car. Okay. They okay. Our Boy Frank they Union, they four, five, yeah, five, six. A no need for a turn there. Not not hurt or anything. I don't think so. That's super weird how they're so similar, but it's different trucks. Yeah. What's the Texas plate? Uh, Is she gonna get a Charles ticket? Charles. Am I gonna get her in trouble? One five two eight. Uh, she'll probably get a ticket. Probably not hit and run, but for rear-ending you. I mean, if she stopped and gave some information, I'm not. It's not gonna be a criminal thing. It's gonna be more just like poor driving. One thirty-two. Talking to I do have the witness, like I said, pulled in after me and gave me her name and number just in case that's helpful. Okay. Probably at the fair. The person, she is, she said she was at the rodeo and didn't want the ticket and yeah. didn't want to deal with it with insurance. And do you have your license and the insurance card? This is an out of date insurance card, but I promise it's up to date. It's the same policy. It's the same safe farm. And you living on Harvest Loop still? No, we moved. We live on Bayer. What's your address? <laughs> oh, I kind of hoped that I know he was going to come, but I, he probably <laughs> He would not be handling these. Yeah, he doesn't handle collisions. Either. And Thanks. Jennifer, what's your phone number? Is this? Yeah, please. It's all the same. I believe you. It's been the same since I was a kid, since I was 16. This is what I'm supposed to do, right? I'm yep. supposed to call you guys? Absolutely. I'm sorry that she has to get in trouble, though. Well. It's not your fault she left. I mean, it's your fault. She rear-ended you. She didn't want me to call you guys, though. Well, yeah, but doesn't mean she's also. Problem is, you, you, if you did take her word for it, who knows if she's actually going to ever pay you for the damages. Yeah. So that's why you have the insurance companies, and that she has a responsibility to, you know, exchange all that and to make sure it gets covered. Because too many times, you know, people have said like, oh, well, they said they were going to do it out of pocket. I, now I'm like, I can't get a hold of them, especially if she's from Texas. Especially out of state, yeah. Bye. Probably never see her again. Yeah. So, um, you're Do you want her license plate number? Uh, I'll, yeah, we got to attach you the call. What, uh, Thank you have you. two kids in the car? I do. Okay, what are their names? Do you want to see them? Sure. I just need to basically their name. So, let me get some photos here real quick. One zero eight. Can you call my number? One eight one eight. 
1818. 1818. 1818. 1818. Of course. I'm glad we can help. So, I ran out of business cards. I need to go get to the office to get some more. So, he's going to put the case number on his card. Hello. Just call your insurance company, let them know what happened. And all the information will be in the report that I'll do. So, all, all, once we get her information, all that will be in the report. All the information will be in the report, and your, the insurance company can handle it. So, do you have any questions or anything for me? Of course. I hope you have a better day. Thank you. And uh, that's all you have insurance. We are just about to buy a new car. I'm really glad it wasn't a new car. That yes. Better this one. Yes. Yes, that's true. Retrading this one in. Yeah. It might might knock the value a little they'll, bit. They'll get it fixed. But. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Maybe they'll just total it. <laughs> oh, maybe. I would take that. Right? Yeah. I don't think they're quite going to total it, but... uh. I mean, who knows? Nowadays, that could be... Grand. Now tomorrow, if I find out this thing is smashed in, you hit it with a sledgehammer and slashed all your tires, then I'm gonna know something's up. <laughs> See ya. All right, take care. Let's make this call.